bewildered bride to be. Today, I've been getting excited about making my wedding speech. Getting up on the mic in front of a room full of people who are drunk and couldn't care less is what I do for a living. And sometimes I get paid. But obviously, I'm not gonna go too stagey and make it all theatrical. What? So I just thought I'd look up on here what it says about traditional speeches. So it says, the first person to make a speech is the bride's father, to welcome all the guests at the reception, to say a few words, maybe embarrassing anecdotes about his daughter. Fortunately, I've never done anything embarrassing or made any bad life choices or have a small list of exes who are sociopaths. So it should be fine. I love you, Dad. But when is it my turn? The next person to make a speech is the groom. The groom would reply to the father and bride. The groom would propose a toast to their bridesmaids to thank them for their job. What job they're going to be drunk? Is it me next? Don't make me do it. Okay, I will. The next person to speak is the best man. Fair enough. Best man's responsibility to reply to the groom. But surely it's me now, right? No. That's it. Bride's father, groom, best man. So I just sit there, silently looking pretty, much like the cake. So people are allowed to say embarrassing things about me, but I'm not allowed to defend myself. Sorry, I didn't know we were in Manitowoc County. No, it's fair, because I guess like a top table is kind of like a comedy panel show. It's fine! It's fine, I'll just sit here in my push-up bra and my chastity belt and my tiny shoes because you bound my feet and I'll just wait till you finish the speeches. No, there ain't no 12th century patriarchy here. For I believe in equal rights. My husband-to-be believes in equal rights. My parents are badass and also believe in equal rights. And I will make a speech and the people will listen, if they want to. And if you don't like it, you can go and That's what I think of you men only speeches. No. Oh. Well, I probably shouldn't say any of that.